In this video, we're going to prove a function is onto. Before we do the proof, let's talk about some of the notation here. So the set here, r star. So r star, this is the set of all non-zero real numbers. So it's the set of all x, such that x is a real number. So x is in the set of real numbers. That means it belongs to. And x is not zero. So it's the set of all non-zero real numbers. You can write it also as all of the real numbers minus, or it's called set minus zero. So it's all non-zero real numbers. And we have to prove that the function one over x is onto. So recall the definition of onto. We say a function f from capital X, where that's the domain, to capital Y, that's the codomain, is onto or surjective, same thing, if for all little y in capital Y, so for all little y in the codomain, there exists, right, we can find some little x in the domain, capital X, such that f takes little x and sends it to little y. So for all little y in the codomain, we can find some capital, some little x in capital X, such that f of x is equal to y. So if this was capital X and this was capital Y, given some tiny little y here, we can always find some little x here, such that f takes little x to y. All right, let's go ahead and do this proof. So I have not done this problem yet, so we will figure it out together. So let's go over here to the side and we will do our scratch work. So in the proof, we'll start by taking a y and y, and we're going to need an x and x, right? trying to satisfy the definition. So we'll have a y and y, and we'll have to come up with this such that f of x is equal to y. So we need such that f of x is equal to y. So this is how you figure it out. You just basically write down the definition and work backwards. Um, so f of x is 1 over x, and we're trying to find x. So we have 1 over x equals y. So I suppose we could solve this for x by multiplying by x. So let's do that. So times x times x. These cancel, so we get 1 equals yx. All right, good stuff. So now we can divide by y, and that's allowed, right? Everything here is non-zero, so we're allowed to divide by stuff. Everything is good. So we get x equals 1 over y. And that will make sense because y is not 0, so everything is OK. And also, it's not 0, so it's also OK. All right, so let's go ahead and write the proof. So to do the proof, we'll start by taking a y in our capital Y. So this is our capital Y, and this is our capital X. So we'll start by saying, take any little y in capital Y, which we'll just say is our star. So now we have to produce x. So we've, we've done this part. Okay, now we have to show there exists an x in our star. So we have to show it exists. We have to specify why it exists. So note, x equals 1 over y uh, makes sense. So we can write it down. because y is not 0. And that's because it's in R star. So it's a real number. Also, x equals 1 over y is not equal to 0. That's obvious, right? That can't be 0. If, if you're not convinced, um, you could really go nuts and prove it's not 0. You could say, if it was 0, if it was, then you get 1 over y equals 0. Then you multiply by y, and you get 1 equals 0, and that's a contradiction. The symbol means contradiction, this little funny symbol I wrote. So, so it's clear. So if it's not, you can always just prove it by contradiction. Assume it was, multiply by y, contradiction. Okay, so it's not 0, so this means that it's an R star. Let's backtrack. So we started with a y in capital Y. This is our capital Y. 
We showed the existence of x and capital X. Now we just need to verify that f of x is equal to y. So then, f of x, well, what is f of x? f of x is 1 over x. It's given at the outset of the problem, right up here, right, 1 over x. And what's x? Well, x is 1 over y, so this is 1 over 1 over y. But when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocals. This is 1 times y over 1, which is just y. And so the proof is complete, right? We took a y in capital Y. We showed the existence of x in capital X, such that f of x is equal to y. This is precisely the assertion that f is onto. So this is precisely the assertion that f is onto. And that completes the proof. And when you finish a proof, typically you write a symbol. I like to use a box with an X. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.